Welcome back, Fragrance family. Thanks for joining me here on my channel, Steven Sturgill. We're looking today, guys, at uh, a house that, yes, it's a cheapy house. It's worldwide. It's global. It's famous. And they just made two tobacco scents. Hint, hint. See if you can think who I'm talking about. And you can buy them together, as I did. Okay, they're from Spain, and they do a lot of business both in Spain and Portugal or Portugal y España. Yes, the company is Sara. And you can buy them in this box set. And it is part of their tobacco well, collection. Okay, I can't, can't get that closed for some reason. Ah, sorry. Anyways, this little strap was. Something like this, I forget. It was on either corner, I believe. Anyways, that is the box. Tobacco Collection, EDTs, 100 mils, Rich Warm Addictive. And then on this side is the Tobacco Collection. Okay, please focus, Mr. Cameraman. <laughs> Intense Dark. And... Exclusive, I guess. Yeah. Also 100 mils. And yes, they're both EDTs. Don't know what this individual paid for this box set. And the company is De Roy, or De Roy Perfumes SA, that's Spain. Carretera de la Esclusa, Sevilla, España. Uh, blurb here on the... For the intense dark is once touched you will never forget the texture of a dry tobacco leaf once inhaled the scent of a warm and spicy wind that blows from the plantation you will carry this feeling throughout your whole life a whirl of emotion comes out and forces you to submit to this intense dark and exclusive feeling <laughs> i love these little slogan blurbs and then for the rich, warm, addictive, it says, The night has spread its wings over the valley. The cool has almost finished its smoldering within the fireplace, and the coolness of the morning is about to appear from behind the hills. But a rich, warm, and addictive feeling of past adventures will stay in your memory for a long time. Man, that sounds like a night to remember. <laughs> so uh, previously, the Intense Dark exclusive, it goes, it says, Black Pepper, cashmere wood and tonka, tonka bean these are not all the notes that's just the notes that they're highlighting or the accords that they're highlighting and then in the rich warm addictive it says cocoa tobacco sandalwood and honey just just keep that in mind okay price is astronomically insane for fragrances this good guys i think i got the entire entire kit for like $67 plus shipping. I mean, so I got each bottle for well under, um, or maybe that was with shipping, I forget. But anyways, I got, yeah, I got each bottle for around $28 and change, uh, plus shipping and possible sales tax. So that's crazy. That's, that's a crazy value. Um, uh, Anyways, I just got a cool comment from a, a new subscriber who says, Good review. You are like the white joy I mean. <laughs> I will take that, brother, man. Thank you so much. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, I love joy. Big time fan for sure. He's been rocking it for years. Okay, back to the review. I've got the both bottles here. Firstly, let me make that crystal clear. I'm not pulling on my Mickers, <laughs> who did a review recently on uh, uh, Boclet or Bocle tobacco out of France with no bottle, no decant, no sample. And literally, you can go watch his video if you don't believe me. He just reads, he, well, he appears to be reading the notes right off for Grantica or base notes. And then he says, you get this and you get that and you get this. And I, and I called him out for it. My texts are still there on that video feed. 
And uh, I just said I didn't think it was correct. And I think you want to walk your viewers by the hand and, and really, really show that you're being legitimate. Otherwise, anybody out there can just literally tag the base notes or for granted or any other website that specializes in perfumes and just read notes off. And, and what are you reviewing? You haven't smelled it. You, he claimed to have smelled it in, in, in defense about a year prior, but I still don't think that's a correct way to do it. It's like me reviewing a car. Now, I can, re I can review a car features-wise through looking at other videos and magazine feeds, and we can talk about changes and things, and I think that's fine. But the minute I start saying, oh, this is what that car drives like, I think I better show you what it drives like, and I better at least make that real so that that my feedback means something to you but i'm not i'm not trying to throw a whole bunch of shade on my makers he has a wonderful channel huge subscriber base fun 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 i like the interplay between he and his wife and they've covered just probably thousands of fantastic fragrances that's not my point i just still don't think it's kosher to do that but let's i didn't mean to get off topic i do have them as i said and so this is um this one here is Rich, Warm, and Addictive. Whoa, does that cap want to come off? Almost. Cap's staying on pretty good. I could probably get it to come off. Stays on pretty good. And this is the Intense Dark exclusive. And, and for what it's worth, guys, I don't know how many people pick up their bottles by the caps anyway. I think we probably, as reviewers, take that a little too far. I mean, in general, I only recommend picking up a bottle by the bottle you know please don't pick up your bottles by the caps but if you have to do so gently and respectfully don't just yank it up and expect oh it's fine you're probably going to break your bottle and, and then be really really pissed off uh, or ticked off however you want to say it angry upset in ojado um these are very very different fragrances and they're both really really good um but I think I'm starting to kind of like the Rich, Warm, and Addictive just a little bit better. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But let's let's get into the notes. And I don't want, I don't want this vid to run super long. Uh, but let me tag on back. Okay. Now, is my, okay, is my camera, yeah. Now, the Intense Dark Exclusive... It has currently about a 3.81 on Fragrantica. Strong rating, not otherworldly, not super high, certainly not low. Uh, I want to talk about, well, let's talk about the notes first. Tobacco, bergamot, apple, black pepper, mint, basil, basil cashmere wood, and tonka bean. Now, I will say a word about this. I was expecting a lot more tobacco on the opening and I didn't get it. So for that reason, I'm somewhat disappointed with this fragrance. However, uh, it still has a lot of endearing qualities to it. That black pepper comes up immediately with the basil and the apple. Apple's very, very prominent in this fragrance along with some bergamot. It's there. It's not overpowering or anything. Mint is very faint. It's almost more like a natural mint leaf that hasn't really been processed for the oil. So it's not as minty. It's just faintly cooling, slightly peppery minty. Black pepper is certainly there, giving just a, a slight pungency and, and some body to the fragrance. The basil is there. The cashmere wood and the tonka bean are certainly here. I will say that the, the tobacco came out a lot later in the dry down uh, into the heart becomes much more noticeable on skin but i would have liked it if sada had made the tobacco the front and center all-star player and, and at least on my skin it most definitely is not still an excellent fragrance it's somewhat of a throwback to some very traditional french fragrances from 20 to 30 years ago uh, but of course it has some slightly modern um, nods to it so it's not it's not just a replica fragrance from 20 or 30 years, at least not to my knowledge. It, it may be, but it, it doesn't seem to be. Um, okay, so that's that'll do it on that fragrance. Let's move on now to Rich Warm Addictive. Rich Warm Addictive, and guys, by the way, there's some idiots online. I uh, <laughs> shouldn't say that. There are some misguided individuals online that are trying to compare either of these to, or especially, I should say, uh, Rich Warm and Addictive to TV. 
uh, Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. Stop it already. This has zero uh, <laughs> similarities to Tobacco Vanille. I mean, zero. This is not even in the same stratosphere as Tobacco Vanille, uh, price wise or any other wise. So just, just, just stop it already. This does have a nice tobacco cord. Let me pull this one up for a second. Okay. Rich, warm, and addictive. Yes. This pulls a bit higher on the Fragrantica scale at 4.21, which is a really high rating in general. There are higher, certainly, but that's any anytime you get past four, you're rocking out, man. So, <clears throat> pardon me, officially, <clears throat> tobacco, coconut, sandalwood, honey, and cedar. Yeah, I'm getting the coconut now. Definitely the honey is just borderline over the top. It's thick, slightly resinous, but, but the fragrance as a whole is slightly powdery on my skin, which I did not expect. It's not, it's not a powdery scent. I'm saying it is slightly powdery. Please don't confuse the two uh, issues. Uh, tobacco is very prevalent. It's sort of a semi-moist, semi-dry cured tobacco it could be in a cigar it could be hanging in a cedar room just you know finishing the curing process and then it's it's a little bit generic but it's quite good sandalwood is here it, give, it, it lends a creamy warmth and base and just sort of ties and unifies the entire fragrance together the cedar here is quite mild and it's you would almost miss it thinking that it was some kind of interplay between the tobacco honey and sandalwood and coconut but it it does seem to be there and more so on the deep dry down um it's really really an easy fragrance to wear uh it is gourmand it's quite sweet however i would say that after about the first hour or two uh the sweetness just it dies down a lot in its intensity, as does the whole fragrance, and it's going to sit much, much closer on the skin. Uh, be very careful, guys, uh, not to overspray with this one in particular. I find that this is a type of scent that can make your nose go anosmic. After about 30 minutes to an hour, you may not be detecting as much on skin, and so you may be uh, tempted to grab the bottle and keep on spraying or re reapply do not do that guys other people i assure you they will easily smell this on you up to seven to eight hours later it, it, it for sure at least five to six hours later uh so an unclosed that will extend to eight to twelve hours so be very very careful not to overspray if you want people to smell you for 10 to 12 hours i would give myself about three to four extra spritzes on clothing if you really really need that kind of push Otherwise, please don't go there. I would think about four to six sprays on skin. Don't put any on clothing. Should be fine for the average six to eight hours, let's just say in general. Um, this one dries down to not quite as an attractive peppery type scent. Uh, slightly bordering on strong BO. So... Don't get me wrong, it's not unattractive, but I could see how it could be mis misinterpreted that way. I'm just saying this one is a bit more challenging, not as readily, easily, not as easily wearable, and, and maybe not as sexy for those reasons. But it is a good scent, but it's a bit more challenging. It's definitely a bit more pungent than, than Rich, Warm, and Addictive. Which also seems to have a nice little uh, ambrette base going that they're not mentioning here uh, on Fragrantica. I think this has some kind of amber in it. I am, I'm, I'm quite positive this has some amber in it. Yeah, this, this, this has to have some amber or ambrette, uh, some kind of little amber base. It's, it's a little bit, it's, it's a weird mix of resinous, dry, and ever so slightly powdery. And... This one is more of a traditional fall fougere uh, with some spice. If you want to call it a spicy fougere, that's fine. It's not that it's overly spicy, but it does have spice in it uh, in terms of the pepper. 
and the basil, sort of an, an herbal spice, if you will, with the mint. Uh, but it just has that little peppery, spicy, almost BO type vibe going on. It's not bad. I'm not trying to scare anybody away. I just don't find it as uh, sexy or as wearable as Rich Warm Addictive. So if that scares you, just stick with this. You could layer them, and, and I may try that here in the near future, and you'd probably get something quite interesting if you layer them. No, no, I take that back. I did layer them the other day, and it worked actually really, really well. Uh, I think they complement each other uh, quite beautifully. This adds more pepper and dimension to the, you know, to to this, if you will. And this really, really sweetens up and smooths and sort of creamifies. I'm not sure if that's a word, but it, it adds a lot of creaminess to this scent that I think it kind of desperately needs. So I, in a weird way, I don't know why they just didn't make them into one big concoction and call it a day. That's just that's just my two cents. Uh, this represents tremendous value in the perfume game, guys. I know that Zara is an entry-level designer type frag at, at bargain basement pricing. And at this price point, guys, if you can find anything that's legitimately better than, the, than these, bravo, more power to you. I don't know what those would be. Please let me know. Hit me up. Leave a comment. This represents just in unbelievable value for a price per uh, you know per enjoyment you know I don't know how to say it but you know what I'm saying this is it there have been some comparisons to 1 million and 1 million privé there's a little tiny nugget of similarity in here uh, mainly with rich warm and addictive but it's it's about 10% if that that's it uh, there's uh, there's really otherwise no legitimate straight up comparison uh, if anything there's quite a bit of this guy inside of this guy if that makes any sense now i'm not saying they're identical far in a way i'm not saying that this is an entirely different scent but there is some kind of strong dna and ambrette and just sweet dark sort of caramel they, in fact yeah I, I meant to say guys this has a nice little uh caramel or caramel brulee brulee <laughs> a vibe to it so if you, if you like gourmand and car caramel brulee type accords this definitely has it so does legend night but in a very different way this has more of a, a mango vibe going on with other sort of unique uh, fruity and spicy like star anise and ginger and i don't know what all's in there but anyways guys get your notes on these these represent tremendous value no they're not niche and no if you're already rocking bottles that cost north of 150 dollars this may or may not interest you i'm guessing it probably wouldn't but if you're a frag head like i am you'll probably want to add them to your collection anyway and just at least see what they're all about for someone on a budget, this is an absolute no-brainer. You know, please get your nose on, on this on the collection. You can layer them, like I said, and add more dimension to days where you want a little bit more spice in your game. And on days where you just want to go pure sweet gourmand caramel brulee, think praline with meats tobacco, uh, then leave the other one on the shelf and just go with rich warm and addictive. And it is quite addictive. That's going to do it, guys. I've run a little bit over my uh, preferred timeline for this uh, this vid, but eh, no, no big. I, I covered two, two fragrances in under 20 minutes. If you like, please subscribe and click the bell for future updates. If you don't click the bell, you won't be updated when I drop new material, so that's totally your call. I'll, I'll let you decide. Anyways, guys, spray often, spray well. Live life on your terms, not someone else's. Peace out. Love you guys.